Deputies just solving a 35 year old cold case involving the rape of a child thanks to new genetic technology. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane explains how detectives did not need to match DNA in a criminal database to find their suspect. On April 7, 1983, a man entered a Ridge Manor home and raped a 12 year old girl in front of her two younger sisters. But the case went cold until now. Detectives say they identified a suspect through DNA left at the scene, even though he wasn't a match in their criminal system. This is a separate database that we were able to, through Powerbond, access and retrieve this DNA of family members and then have genealogists go through it and narrow the field. Narrowing it down to one man, William Nichols, who was working in Central Florida for a vending machine company at the time. One thing the 12 year old did say that was kind of ironic was that the suspect was unusually calm. And now detectives know why. Nichols had a history of sex crimes. He went to prison in Wisconsin for attempted rape in 1958 and faced four more charges of rape in 1972, but never stood trial. Detectives also learned that Nichols died of cancer in 1998 while living in Orlando, but they're still happy that new technology helped bring closure to the victim. Now she can put it all behind her. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.